Hello and welcome back to another episode of Project Supercar, the channel where I've built my own DIY supercar using an old Audi estate as a donor car like this one. And on this episode I'm going to have to remove the exhaust pipe so that I can get to the drive shaft so I can remove the handbrake and the gear lever. So that's going to be fun, but I think I might just have to push this thing outside because my garage is a little bit too small. Now the plan is to push the car out, work on it here so I can actually gain access to underneath the car and hope it doesn't rain. Now another problem I have is not only do I need to remove all that stuff so um, I can get to the bits I want, but I need enough room so I can record it for you. Now the plan is to get the car high enough up in the air so I can use one set of ramps and rest the wheels and tyres on that and then use another set of ramps that I bought on eBay to put the rear set of tyres and wheels on top of that so I can get underneath and maybe get the camera under there as well. Well, let's see if that works. bit tight. Now before I get this thing up in the air and get a uh, ramp underneath each wheel I need to break the nut on each drive shaft and this is a quattro so that's all four wheels so that means removing the uh, wheel here I'm going to take this cap off put the wheel back on use the weight of the car while it's still on the ground and with it still in gear so I, I can crack these nuts. Ooh. Now if you saw my episode on how to repair your jack, this jack should be all good to go. Let's find out. So far so good. One down, three more to go.
car on the ground, I can now use my breaker bar to undo the bolts, not nuts, on each of the drive shafts. With the caps removed, it turns out that there's actually an Allen head bolt inside here, not a nut. And this is the tool I'm going to use to undo it, which is a H17 Allen bit tool. And I'm going to need two reducers and my giant uh, breaker bar, and we'll go around and uh, crack these and get them all loose. One down, three to go. jacking this car up. See even though I've fixed my jack and I think it, it works fine now and it gets this uh, car up into the air, I don't think it's going to get it up high enough for me to get the ramps underneath these wheels because obviously as I jack it up the wheels will drop down. So this might be a multi-stage jack up, I might have to jack it up as far as I can go, bring in some more jacks, jack up the wheels and yeah, it's going to be a, a pain. So here it goes. <laughs> yeah, I'd just like to say, I'm jacking it up on the subframe. This is a little bit crude. I don't normally like doing this sort of thing because you can scratch up the subframe and dent it and all this sort of stuff. So um, it's not really ideal. But I am stripping this car and parting it out. So, uh, you know, if there's some damage, well, just, you know, that's the way it is. Looks like the car's moved forward a little bit while I was jacking it up. And now I can't close the garage door. So down it goes, push it back, try it again. Thank you. 
Well, the front is up in the air and on ramps. And now I've just got to do the rear part of the car, but um, it's a little tight. I can't get the jack in either side. I mean, I knew this when I pushed the car out. You know, I'm limited for space. So, might have to do something a bit dodgy. Mm. Now, I can't quite get this jack all the way underneath to somewhere that's structural to get this car up. So I want to use this piece of wood, put it on there and see if I can jack it up on the, uh, this is where the spare wheel goes. I know you're not supposed to do this and I wouldn't do this on a car that I want to keep obviously. This is a scrapper so if there's damage there's damage. And I'm not going to get underneath the car while I'm doing this either. This is not how you jack up a car. But I've got no space, got no room. There <sighs> goes. Well, that wasn't sketchy at all. <laughs> well, it's up, it's sitting there, and it looks safe. Now, unfortunately, the clouds are coming in, and it looks like it's going to rain. So, I think what I'll do is I'm going to put some plastic over the engine, and uh, yeah, put some plastic over the engine, see if it rains. If it doesn't rain, then I can get to work and remove that exhaust. the last of me spray and the engine wiring loom shouldn't get wet and it looks like it's going to rain so I'm going to get myself some bacon well I had my bacon so you know what it's like after you've had a large lunch you really don't feel like crawling underneath the car to remove an old rusty exhaust. And this is actually a few days later, so I don't think I can put it off much longer, but I'm gonna to have to crawl under this thing and remove an old rusty exhaust. We have a twin exhaust on this thing. It runs down the center of the car. It splits in the middle, and it runs up into the manifolds. Well, this is as high as I can get this car. I'm going to try and film what I can for you, but uh, bear with me. There might be a touch of shaky cam coming. 
Okay. Well, there's the centre section, which looks relatively easy. I've sprayed it with WD-40, so hopefully they'll crack free. And then we've got the cats. But then things get a little bit more complicated. And they sort of run up into there. Here's another angle. Here's one of the cats. It runs up. It's a flexi. And it sort of runs up to the turbo. In there somewhere. So this isn't going to be a straightforward easy job. By a long shot. Well, these nuts here are 17 mil. So we'll just see if we can uh, crack them off. No, looks like they're seized on. Well, they're all loosened off, so we'll move down to a bit further down on the exhaust. And there's a couple of hangers here, one there, and there's one on the other side there. I think I'll just unbolt the actual brackets to the uh, body of the car thing. So I'll just undo those. Next. Well, I hope this is in shot. I hope it's in focus. I really can't tell at this point. But uh, I'm going to undo these nuts that support the brackets that hold this part of the exhaust. And these look like they're 13 mil. Oh, those last ones, those last nuts, they're 17 mil. If you were wondering. Now, I don't think I can get these brackets all the way off, but if I can loosen one side and get myself some slack and drop this down a bit. Right, middle piece is done. Now for the two tailpipes. Just the tailpipes to do. There's one rubber hanger there and another one here. So I'll prise these off. And then the exhaust should drop, just uh, drop down. Yeah, easy as that. One hanger up there. Just 
prise that one off. And there's another one here on the other side. Now, take two. I'm going to go at this in another direction, I think. Okay. I've taken the tension and well, the weight off the exhaust and what I'm going to try and do is actually unbolt this rubber hanger. Now the nuts and bolts in there are really rusty so I don't know if this is going to work. If not I'll just have to be brutal and I'll just have to cut that off the rubber. You know I know people are going to say look you're stripping the car why are you taking your time it's just it sort of goes against my nature to damage stuff on cars and things in general. Okay, I'm trying to do this delicately. I'm trying to do this like an engineer and not some sort of butcher. <laughs> but I might have to get rough. The exhaust is down, but it's not out. So I think I'm gonna to have to move the camera back a little bit, give me some room, and then I'm gonna give it a tug. <laughs> Tell you what, this is a heavy old exhaust, and I don't know where I'm going to put it. It's no good to anybody, it's far too gone, so uh, can't really salvage it. I think I'll just have to chop it up, put it to one side, and then uh, weigh it all in when I scrap the rest of this uh, body shell. So that's the rear part of the exhaust pipe removed. Now I was planning on removing the entire exhaust with the downpipes in this episode but I've just taken a look at it and it's not an easy job. I have to get down here as well inside the engine bay, I've got to remove panels and all sorts of stuff, bits and bobs. And I think I've recorded way too much again as usual. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call this an episode and I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. but. I'm going to continue stripping this down, I want to get the uh, pop shaft removed and maybe the gear chains, that sort of thing. Or I might remove the plastic cover, get into the engine bay and remove some of that. I don't know, see what I feel like. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.